Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about population genetics and here is another problem about uh, allele frequency. Uh, the ability to test PTC is due to a single dominant allele that is capital T. You simplify 215 individuals and determine it that 150 could detect the beta test of PTC and 65 could not. Calculate all the potential frequencies. And those of you who know how to solve this problem, you may stop video here and try to make all the calculations using this data that is given in the problem. And then you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So before I start with this problem, I want to write down a Hardy-Weinberg formula that we are going to use in order to solve this problem. Here is a formula P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals to 1. And for P squared we have um, capital T, capital T, so it's going to be tester. And for the heterozygous form we have capital T and small t and for those who is not tester we have small t small t so this is going to be homozygous recessive and this um, group of people wouldn't be able to test to test uh, PTC so we also told that uh, we tested 215 people and 150 were testers so I can tell that this group of people uh, represent 150 who can test uh, PTC and this group here would be non-testers and this is going to be 65 people. So together combining this is going to be 215. So now we have to find the frequency of the uh, non-testers that is q squared or small t small t and in order to do this we have to divide 65 the frequency of the non-testers by the number of all people who take uh, a part in this experiment so we have to divide by 215 and the frequency of the uh, homozygous recessive would be 0 0.3 so uh, we find uh, and we can put this number here frequency would be 0 0.3 so we also know that uh, all the alleles t and all the alleles uh, small t so capital T plus small t would equal to 1 so uh, if you take a look here, we only have we have one, two, and three um, genetic groups, but uh, only two alleles, capital T and small t. That's why uh, all capital or all dominant alleles plus all recessive alleles would equal to one. And of course, if these two groups uh, alleles make three genotypic groups this also would equal to one so as long as we know uh, q squared that is uh, 0 0.3 we can find what is a q and in order to find q so if we know that q squared equals to 0 0.3 we have to take a square root so if we take square root on the left side and if we take a square root on the right side we are going to get a 0 0.55 this is a rounded number so we know that q equals to 0 0.55 and when we know q and q stands for the t um, in our problem uh, we can so I can rewrite this formula as uh, P plus Q 
equals to 1. So this is uh, the same just using different uh, letters. So if we know Q, if we know this number in this formula, it's very easy to find P. Or if we know um, small t, it's easy to find capital T because we know that Q here is 0 0.55 so we can um, just rearrange our numbers here so 1 minus Q and we are going to find P so P equals to 1 minus 0 0.55 and this is going to be 0 0.45 so P equals to 0 0.45 and so we already find um, frequency of the Q squared we find uh, P and we find Q and now we have to find uh, P squared and in order to, this, to do this we have just to multiply uh, 0 0.45 by itself so P squared would be 0 0.45 multiplied by 0 0.45 and this is going to be 0 0.2 and this is also rounded number so we can put frequency 0 0.2 here and now we have to uh, finish this part of the formula so we know P, we know Q so we have to multiply 2 by P and P is um, 0 0.45 and we have to multiply by Q and we know that uh, Q is 0. Point, uh, so sorry this is uh, 45 here and um, we know that Q is 0 0.55 so if we multiply these numbers we are going to get 0 0.5 this is also a rounded number and this is going to be frequency of the uh, heterozygous people who is het uh, heterozygous for, that, for this trait so we have all frequencies for all the genotypes and if we add them uh, together we are going to get one so all our answers is correct so uh, we have uh, especially here when we have 100 people 150 people who is testers we don't know who is uh, homozygous and who is heterozygous but when we uh, solve it using this Hardy-Weinberg formula now we know that uh, about 20% and 0 0.2 we also can say that this is 20% we just have to move a decimal point to two places to the right and here we would have 50% and here we have 30% so uh, now we know that 20% uh, is homozygous dominant for this trait about 50% is heterozygous and about 30% is homozygous recessive so now uh, I think it would be clear for you how to solve uh, analogous problems using Hardy-Weinberg formula thank you for attention that's all for today please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day goodbye